I think that this isn't, it isn't so much a question of sectors as a question of what kind of decision is being made and uh, how things are being uh, learned by the system. So there is, you know, there are any time that you say you have a system, you're going to specify a number of things. You're going to say, what are the things that are going to be considered as inputs, right? So what are the characteristics or features that you're going to take into account? Mm -hmm. And, and if, if you were um, a human, you're taking a few things into account because that's all the kind of mental load that we can handle typically. Um, and it is one thing to say, well, if you're gonna take 10 things into account, one of those had better not be race, okay? In, as in, in an anti-discrimination law type statement. Um, now, if you're gonna take 100,000 things into account, and yeah, one of them isn't race, well, you've got enough things that have various correlations that you could very easily infer race if you wanted to, and you'd never have to consider race, and it's already in there, even though you're technically meeting the letter of the law. Right. So that, that's code. the first. Yeah. That's the first sort of uh, starting starting point, but I think that issues are are much deeper than that. If you look at uh, things that are purely reflective of the world as it is. If you live in a society where you have discrimination based on race or sex or whatever, and you take, you train your system based on what is observed in society, you're going to get a system that learns those things. And, and so we've, we see this, for instance, with you know Google's autocomplete on searches, right? It's it's not based on any model that Google built, right? It's based on the history of searches that have been posed to it, and in that sense, it's a reflection of society. And that reflection is unflattering, 